the Nexus 6P just got a pretty darn big update. No, it is not Android O. We're not there yet. But we did get 7.1.2, which is a pretty significant update for this because it adds a fingerprint gestures, the same one as the one on the Google Pixel, which we thought was an exclusive on the Pixel, but uh, it works on the 6P. It was released on the Nexus 5X already and finally came on to the 6P. So we have that here. I'm going to show you guys how to activate it and uh, we're just going to go through it and make sure it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings menu here and scroll down. If you haven't scrolled down like I have, it says about phone. So about phone, it says Android 7.1.2. I already updated it. Of course, you have to do the system update. So if you haven't done that, that's how you do it. You go to your system updates. Uh, you click check for update if it hasn't notified you already. So once you have that done, as you can see, I already updated it today. 7.1.2. I got the update today. Some people got it yesterday or the day before. So it should be rolling around to everybody. We are indeed running 7.1.2 Android Nougat. Uh, but once you activate that, um, all you have to do is scroll up in your settings menu to right here, the moves. It says moves, quick gestures to control your phone. So once you click on that, we have four, just four quick things that we can change. Jump to camera, flip to camera, and lift to check phone. Those were already incorporated onto the Nexus 6P prior, but we have a new Notification up here, it says swipe for notifications. To check your notifications, swipe down on the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone, which is exactly what we have on the Nexus 6P. And also on devices like this, the Honor 8, which was which is very handy. So if you haven't used this before, this is really handy. So we just wanna to toggle that on. I've already done that, I just did it again. And once you have that, all you have to do is use your finger on your fingerprint scanner right there, swipe down. As you can see, uh, since I'm recording the screen, it brings down the notification shade. So if you bring it down one more time, you get the quick settings menu. Swipe up, it retracts it right there. There's a little stutter there, huh? There we go. So it should swipe it and get rid of it. Uh, so far, it seems to work perfectly fine. I haven't come across any bugs. Um, I've only been using it for a few hours though. So um, I had a friend who actually notified me that he got his a couple days ago and he's been testing it. And he told me that um, his doesn't seem to have any problems. So we have the fingerprint gesture here. It's pretty simple. That's that's all we really want to talk about. And uh, of course, if you have the Nexus launcher on here, you silo the Nexus launcher on here, and not the Nexus launcher, sorry, the Pixel launcher on here. It just, you have a pretty stock Pixel kind of phone here, especially with the fingerprint gesture. So this is exactly, if you have a Nexus 6P and you never went to the Google Pixel, well, you can make it just so that it looks and feels just like a Google Pixel. So it's actually pretty close to a Pixel feeling right here. So uh, definitely cool to have that gesture here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Alex from Tech. I'll keep bringing you updates whenever we get these updates, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!